All right, here's this weekend's projects. There's nothing really in any auctions I wanted to go to, and uh, I don't really like going if I don't want anything. So, Matt bought this Alaskan mill, and he didn't have a saw to put it on, so I brought mine over. That's a uh, 661 with a 36 inch bar. And we're gonna mill this log here. And then some live edge boards. Try it out, see how it works. So I'll set you guys up and you guys can follow along. All right, so now I, I feel like I should just start off with, we have no idea what we're doing here. Okay, I, I was gonna watch a couple YouTube videos and I just, I mean, honestly, I guess I forgot. So we're going to screw this ladder down so we have like a nice straight edge to start with, cut a slab off here, then we'll adjust the mill to our two inches and start making two inch cuts hopefully. I don't know how long it's going to take us to cut through that or what exactly, how exactly this is going to work, but we'll uh, get you guys set up on the tripod and we'll get the saw set up and then we'll start it out. See what happens. Hopefully, we get some nice live edge slabs. I'm not even sure what.
screws out of there and we'll flip her over. I want to flip it over and see if the screws went through. Yep. Never touched them. We'd have been all right then. Yeah. Well, that did. Huh? This dough getting white out, you said. So, I mean, it's not bad. Like, you're getting marks while we're running the saw back and forth, Dude. you know what I mean? But I run it through a panel saw. I, got, I bought a panel grinder on a I think it would be worthwhile to get a ripping chain, like after, you know what I mean? But well, I think we need to get a saw set up for this. That saw is perfect for this. It's a ripping chain, I think. I was cutting them. I mean, you should have seen the chunks when Norm was cutting that pine. That so pine there. saw. Yeah, but I understand that, but it's not. You're also ripping. You know what I mean? All right, we'll get this thing set up. And uh, we'll try and get another one going. For our first cut, we'll call it a success. There's a little bit of marks. You can kind of see we didn't get a uh, ripping chain. I probably will buy one now, but we got some marks when we were working the saw back and forth. But it's not, it's not terrible. Uh, you know, Matt can plane it down anyway. So we'll get set up, do another cut, see what happens. All right, so we got the saw all set up at two inches. We're gonna get this thing start. I feel like I should mention this is white oak. I forgot to mention that. But we're going to cut our first two inch board and see how that goes. I think without using the ladder, it'll probably go a lot smoother, or I hope it does anyway. So, what happens there? Huh? All right, action again. Now we have gas. So finish this one out. See what it's like. We kind of goofed up at the end because the ladder was too short. So we're gonna try and hold it up when we get down there and even that out. If if not, we're just gonna cut the end of that log off. And... It's our first log. What do you want from us?
think we're back on track. Yeah, we're a little downhill yet, but. Look at that. I think we're in business. Once we get the kinks worked out, we'll be doing good. Kind of like alarmed me how small the sawdust is, but it's kind of decent for what it is. That, to clean that up, ain't nothing compared to what I was cleaning up. Yeah, I think it'll be good. All right, we're going to give the saw a little break. It worked pretty good. All right, here we go again. Yeah, that seems to work pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got the chain touched up a little bit. Round, I don't know, six, eight, whatever we're on here. <clears throat> really wish I wore my boots. All this sawdust is. These are like ventilated shoes, you know, so they're like. That's why, I, that's why I put my boots on. Well, I didn't think about that when I, I did. Well, when I left the house this morning, I didn't plan on not going home before I came here. show you guys the grain in this and get some I don't know if you can pick that up on video or not but like there's some marks in there but when he planes and that'll be okay and I assume when you get a ripping chain I, I think it's because we're sawing the saw back and forth to try to get through it faster but I mean it's 
it's our first time so it is what it is but we'll take it so we're gonna get set up here and we will saw the last one and that's probably gonna wrap this up all right last one Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Alright, so that's gonna wrap this video up. I, we're gonna call that a success. We will make some improvements. Like I said, this is our first time, so you can laugh at us or suggestions. We're open to any suggestions because I don't know anything about this. But uh Matt does a lot of woodworking and we thought it'd be cool to saw some logs that we get for firewood that are in my opinion a waste to make firewood out of so there you have it that's our first log if you guys want to see more of this let us know and we'll try to do more so that's going to wrap this one up we'll catch you on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe later